I've been talking with Butch Malott, the Comfort Master, about eight common installation errors with heating and air conditioning systems. The first was oversized equipment. The second was ducts, poor design. Three was poor filter locations. Four was duct leaks. Five was drain systems. Six was thermostat locations. Seven was outdoor unit location. And what is the eighth common installation error with heating and air conditioning systems? Um, our eighth eighth point would be the interconnecting tubing, the line set, the copper tubing that runs between an air conditioner or a heat pump indoors and out. When they are installed, a lot of times the insulation is damaged and it's not repaired um, after it's installed. This can cause condensate issues within a building that are hidden and covered up later. Um, that's property damage. Uh, being at the proper size, that happens quite often, that it's, especially if the equipment is replaced. Then uh, the newer high efficient equipment may take a different size copper tubing than what's installed and that needs to be looked at. Being installed in such a way that it, it causes binding and passes vibration into a home. Uh, we have had several calls. I've had, I've had calls where someone would hear water running inside their wall and it was actually re their refrigeration tubing and of all things it was stalled so that it was at the head of the master bedroom in the house. In the middle of the night they would hear the system come on and come off. Just a little bit of forethought on the way that's installed. And it was the sound that was coming from those copper tubes? It was the sound of the refrigerant being circulated as the air conditioning would come on or the heat pump would cycle and operate. They were hearing it within the walls. And, and, and how could have that been alleviated so that was not done? They didn't locate them there? or it was... For one, not located at the head of the master bed is one, but um, making sure that it's, it's properly strapped and properly installed so that those noises and vibrations don't get passed into the structure. And so it'd be much quieter. Right, right. With a proper installation. Now, it's hard for me to imagine these interconnected tubings that you're talking about. Mm -hmm. These tubes are coming from the equipment that's sitting outside the house, and they're coming into the house. To the equipment inside the house. To the center of the house, pretty much? To, the, the, to the, wherever the furnace or the air conditioner within the home is located. And, and then back out or? Right, there's one that leads in and one that leads out. Okay, so this could be, what, 100 feet to 200 feet of? Oh, most, most, most of them are 50 foot or less. Total? Yes. Okay, and, all right, and it, this is like gas that's going through these things and back actually, and it's making all the sound. Right. It passes one direction as a gas, and in the other direction it, it goes back as a liquid. Uh, it just has to do with the physics of the process of heating the home or cooling the home. But that makes noise, that has vibration, that uh, has issues, refrigerant leaks, not being properly installed. Uh, so the, the poor refrigerant is coming out of here and leaking out. The refrigerant leaks out just because somebody made a, an improper joint. Uh, yes. is, is that common or not? Or uh, most refrigerant leaks would end up being in a coil, but being being in a line set, it's not that uncommon. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, besides the obnoxious noise for not being a good installation, uh, is it, is it causing like electrical problem? You know, increasing electrical costs, or is no, that that has not it? That's normally, not it anything like that, unless it's an actual refrigerant leak. Uh, that's what's going to cause your main problem as far as utilities. If it's if it's not properly sized or mm -hmm. the or that it leaks out, it's got a leak in it that needs to be repaired. Refrigerant leaks are a very common service problem. Generally, if a system is installed and it goes through through the first year or two of operation, uh, it is pretty dependable as far as leaks aren't associated with the line set at that point and they probably never will be. Uh, if it leaks within the first couple of years of installation, usually it, it has something to do with the line set. Mm -hmm. After that, it generally becomes a component in one of the, one of the indoor sections or the outdoor sections. Mm -hmm. Well, now these questions that we've 
asked had to do with the mistakes that, um, and, and really it's a mistake on on the part of the installer or the contractor, but un right? But unfortunately, it's a mistake that a, a consumer simply doesn't understand the consequences of having a wrong contractor. Right. That is that is one of the big things, and that's where that's where we say um, the not having the time to choose the right person to do the work that you need done. Not choosing the right contractor has a lot of repercussions and has consequences that you will pay for the rest of your life in that home. Let's say I'm a consumer and now I know all this information. Kind of give me a more general, quick, down and dirty difference of a, a volume contractor that's just pure price and get them in, get them out, and a high technically proficient company that pays attention to detail. Not all contractors are created equal. A high volume contractor is usually very large, he's going to sell very cheap, and he's going to sell boxes. That's what he's after doing. A high quality contractor is going to pay attention to the customer one at a time. Pays attention to detail is going to cost you 10 to 20 percent more, but he's not going to make the common mistakes that a high volume contractor would make in that your system would be properly sized, your your duct system is going to be adequately installed and, and the distribution system would work the way it's supposed to, your drains will work, you're going to have proper filters, they are going to pay attention to these details because they're going to take the time to do it. A high volume contractor is there to sell the box and go to the next one. Time costs money.